Yo, yo, what's up everyone? Hope everyone's having an amazing day. Today we have a very exciting video. As you guys can see in front of me here, I have this box. And inside of the box, it has my brand new 41 card PSA submission. So just to give some background details, all of these cards were sent out on September 10th. I just got them back. So a little under two months turnaround time. There's 41 cards total in the submission. Each card, when I graded at the time, they were running a PSA special at $15.99 per card. So if you add up the insured shipping and all the grading fees, it came out to a total of $707.59. So keep that total in mind as we go through these cards. And at the end, you guys can comment below if you guys think that you know it was worth sending out. So without any further ado, Let's uh, crack the tape on this and get our cards out. Sent some really nice cards. We got a bunch of Brock Purdy's. We got a bunch of guys that it's like really good timing. Always got the paperwork. Let me uh, check out this real quick. Make sure it all looks good. I'm going to show you guys the uh, totals real quick so you guys can see. All right. So right here it says 41 items at $15.99. $655 plus the $52 insured shipping for a total of $707.59. Hopefully our grader is uh, going through good things in life and uh, wanted to hook me up as well. So we'll just do it one card at a time. Or we'll do it a couple cards at a time. We got a bunch of thick boys right here. So we'll do our thick cards first. Honestly, I can't even remember. Oh, well, that's not a good start. We got a PSA 8. Joe Burrow PSA 8 on the um, rookie gear. Pink prism. It's not a good start. We got a 9 on the Justin Herbert silver rookie gear. I mean, at least it's thick cards getting the tough grades. Can't expect 10s on those. Uh, we got a 9 again on the Austin Eckler gold triple um, color jersey swatch patch. This is obviously numbered 7 of 10. Beautiful card, man. Oh, and we got an eight on the Justin Tucker autograph. All right, so we have no tens to start us off here. Some pretty brutal grades, but at least they're on the tougher cards. I remember this had a not the perfect corner, the most perfect corners in the world. Hopefully, it's only up from here. <clears throat> Four more cards. Ready? Oh, not a good start. We got a nine on the John Mechie. Silver Rookie Autograph Mosaic. And all right, next card, we got another nine. Jalen Waddle Variation Silver Prism. There we go. Our first 10, we got a Jordan Love Select Silver Prism Rookie. Looks nice. And we also have, oh, we got another nine on the Longevity Sam Howell numbered out of 80 Rookie. Man. Getting torched so far. So, so far we're eight cards in. We have a 0.125 gem mint rate. So, hopefully it's up from here. Let's grab some more cards. It's not what we wanted to see. We got a nine on the Honeycomb Jared Goff out of Mosaic. Pretty card, man. Of course, they gave a nine on this one. We got Brock Purdy, Prism Rookie. Feel like they always grade Brock Purdy cards like super tough or whoever's the hot oh this got an eight how did this get an eight card looks great and then we got another nine jeez getting tore up out here all right let's uh keep going through hopefully they got Hopefully they threw us some doggy bones on some of these grades. So far, it's been rough. Oh, my goodness. Back on the 9 train, we got Brock Purdy, PSA 9, on the Optic Rookie. Oh. <laughs> we got a 9 on the Optic Downtown King Henry. Man, that card is beautiful. I really wanted this one to 10. All right, next up, let's... Stay on the nine train, I guess. We got a turbo charged. This is a rookie card. Silver Prism of Joe Burrow. Our grader here must have, uh, he must be going through a divorce or something. I don't know what's up. Or he just isn't a fan of the channel. Here's a nice 10. 
Russell Wilson downtown. He just beat the Chiefs too, so it's good timing. Look how beautiful this card looks. These cards are all looking really good right now. Very happy with the 10 there. See, we got some more big cards coming. All right, four cards at a time. There we go. We got a 10 on the Austin Eckler Zebra. We love to see that. That looks great. Next card. There we go. Back-to-back 10s. -back Justin Herbert, Prism Rookie. Centering is not the best on this card, but not complaining at all, obviously. We'll take a 10 on this all day. Back to the 9 party. We got a Justin Herbert, Prism Rookie, PSA 9. Oh. Really wanted a 10 on this one. We got a stained glass mosaic of Garrett Wilson rookie. That one should have definitely been a 10. Look how sharp this card is, man. I got bigger cards coming, though. I, there's one card I really expect a 10 on. It's a black and red checkerboard Trevor Lawrence out of Prism. If that card didn't get a 10, then this grader officially just is a hater. Next card, we got back on the nine train, Silver Prism Rookie of Brandon Ayuk. Back on the nine train, we got John Elway with the Genesis Mosaic. I'm just not seeing anything wrong with these cards. <laughs> uh, we got eight on the Trevor Lawrence Prism Base Rookie. It's just a base. How does he get an eight? Everything looks super nice on it. All right. Oh, my goodness. This one, this was for the PC, but geez, we got an eight on the numbered out of 50 Panay Blue Diamond Signature Auto. Yeah, this grader officially is a big hater. We got four cards. Or we got plenty of cards to go, but we're just going to go four cards at a time. Next up, we got another 10. There we go. Getting back on the 10 train. We got a die cut zebra prism of Jonathan Taylor. It's good timing on that one. Man, that looks nice. There we go. Back to back 10s. We got prism black um, chronicles rookie Garrett Wilson. There we go. Calvin Austin on the PSA 10 auto. No huddle. I actually opened up a No Huddle Prism um, hobby box this year. I never was able to get the video up. But I saw the Steelers uh, for our autograph. I saw Steelers and it was him. <laughs> we got another 10 on the Pickens here. I, I was really hoping to obviously pull Pickens or Kenny Pickett for the autograph. But glad that both of these came out 10s. Moving along. We got a 9 on the tie-dye Michael Pittman Jr. Man, that card is beautiful. Should have got a 10. Oh, we got a 9 on the Brock Purdy Hollow. That's disappointing. This card looks like a 10, man. Centering is literally like perfect. Oh, well, I guess. I mean, there's nothing I can do. Ugh. We got another 9. Trevor Lawrence Revolution Rookie. This is the Rapture. Man. And we got a 10 here on the Tom Brady on the uh, die cut copper prism numbered out of 149. Nice. All right, we got to think we got like nine or 10 more cards to go. We still have not seen the big one yet. The uh, T Law. All right, next up, we got Mac Jones PSA 10 on the red, white, blue prism rookie. Seems like they're giving 10s on all, like, the smaller cards and the bigger cards they're grading, like, this crazy. Next up, we got another Zebra, DeMarvin Leal. Obviously, this was another player or another rookie card that I pulled that I was really hoping it to be Kenny Pickett, but happy it came back at 10. Oh, no way. Dude, they gave an 8 on this card? How? There's like debris on the card right there, which I didn't send like that. There's like two little spots right there and right there. I didn't send those. 
I didn't send the card with that on there. Mm, that that just broke my heart. I can't even lie. <laughs> wow. And then they gave a seven on a base optic rookie. This grader's trash. Let's see what the rest of these cards are talking about. But we have the all time worst grader. I ain't. That's why I don't really like grading with PSA anymore. Moving along, we got a PSA 10 rookie. There we go. Sauce Gardner. It's a good one to get. <laughs> I think this is the last of my Brock Purdy cards. So we got all nines on those. Not a single 10 on Brock Purdy cards. It's always fun. We got a 10 on the Rashad White black and white checker. Again, look at the theme here with the smaller cards getting 10s, bigger cards getting dinged. And that's going to, the theme's going to hold off on this one too. We got a 10 on the die cut. Cam Jordan. And our last card of the submission. We're going out on a 10. Tie-dye autograph of Darren Sproles. This is numbered out of 25. Pulled this from a mega box. Or a blaster. I don't remember. But that's going to do it for this submission. Unless I missed something. Alright. That is going to do it for this submission. So $707. And that doesn't even include like all the boxes it costs to pull these cards. And purchase them so a lot went into this you guys will have to keep that in consideration when uh comment below if you guys think it was worth it overall i'm not too thrilled about the submission i can't lie definitely could have went a lot better but i'm happy to finally have the cards back and i would rate this submission probably like a seven out of ten i am extremely disappointed i can't lie but happy to have them back and overall that is going to do it for this video so if you guys enjoyed please make sure to like comment subscribe show some love as always and peace out.